Hey, this is Pastor Craig, and I want to welcome you to Ask Pastor Craig. Thanks for joining me. My question this evening is this. I have a circumstance that I've been praying about, but it doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. I'm wondering if my lack of faith is the reason why God is not moving. Okay, thanks for your question, man. I appreciate it. Um, you know, I don't. I think faith is important in prayer, and I, I think that if you look through the Word of God, you'll find a lot of Scripture to back that up. Faith makes a great deal of difference in our prayer life and in the way God responds to our prayers, and I agree with that. But I really don't buy into all the aspects of some of the teachings on faith that are out there today. While I agree that faith is really important, I also agree that grace is important. I also think that we have uh, a God who understands, look, the relationship that we have with God needs to be one that is very honest. And I think that that's the most important thing. Being able to go to God and saying, look, this is what I have going on in my life. I really want you to answer this prayer, but I'm struggling with it. I'm struggling with doubt. I'm, I'm struggling with fear. I'm struggling with um, uncertainty. And, uh, you know, I'm just, um, you, you're kind of conflicted there because you're, you're trying to reach out to God and trust God in faith. But at the same time, um, the circumstance is so dear to you that uh, you're conflicted, you're, you're struggling in your faith. I think God understands that. In fact, the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrews chapter 4, um, at, starting at verse 14, Therefore, since we have a great high priest, talking about uh, Jesus, who ascended into heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us hold firmly to the faith we profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weakness. But we have one who was tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. You notice what the Bible's saying there? That Jesus understands our weaknesses, whether it's being a weakness in faith or a weakness in some other area of our life. We have a high priest who is sympathetic towards our weaknesses. Now, I'm not giving a pass on needing to have faith. The Bible tells us we need to have faith. Needing to have trust in the Lord, the Bible tells us that we need to have trust. And those things are important. And the Bible says we need to grow in our faith. And so I want to encourage you to do that. To find ways to facilitate growth in the area of faith. Reading the Bible, listening to good preaching, reading appropriate uh, books that are true. All those things, I think, would help you quite a bit. But at the same time, don't let this be about you. Let this be about the God that you serve, the God who loves you and cherishes you and wants the very best for you, the God that cares about the things that you care about and um, is sympathetic towards your weaknesses, who loves you deeply and um, really cares about your life as well. And I encourage you to grow in that area. In fact, the Bible tells us that we really need to grow in in grace and so uh, you know as much as we need to grow in faith and and that certainly is true we also need to learn to grow in faith we need to grow in the area where we understand that we have a god who um you know who understands us and loves us and desires the very best for us and so i want to encourage you to grow in both the areas of grace and in faith and understand that god knows the desires of your heart and uh, have a pure heart that's that's really the most important thing and um, you know I hope that whatever you're praying for God's will comes to pass in that well God bless you for listening this evening we'd love to hear more from you if you have a question about this particular subject or something completely different we'd really like to hear from you you can reach us in one of two ways you can reach us at um, this radio stations Facebook page which is facebook.com forward slash ROR ministries or you can reach me at my Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Pastor Craig online. God bless you for listening.